I've always felt that it's possible to make things for the for the mass market or for that can be enjoyed by a vast number of people that still can command their sort of respect and integrity that fine arts usually do. I, it seems to me that fine arts are more about treating something with a certain amount of respect than a anything else. This is Art New York, tape number 16. On this tape, we'll explore video as art. First, we'll travel to the Whitney Museum, where we'll see a retrospective exhibition by Nam Jun Paik. Then we'll go to the Museum of Modern Art and see segments of tapes from recent video exhibitions. Included are interviews with Nam Jun Paik. By chance, I removed the yoke. You see, backward. The the yoke. Yoke. Yes, television is called the yoke. Y O K E. Yeah. Then suddenly I saw on there was a moon. In July 4, 65. Yeah. So I discovered the moon. So. In I, in a television. Yes. Sir. Museum of Modern Art curator Barbara London. Sometimes stories were developed. They were not necessarily linear. They didn't, you know, progress in an A to B to C form. They maybe went along on, on different levels. So there were threads that were weaving through. Um, so that if you if you popped into the tape, you know, after it had begun, there were things that you could ride with. Ernest Gazella. I came from uh, painting or before I got involved in video. And as a child, I studied music. And I was constantly frustrated about the fact that if you stayed with one medium, you were denying aspects of the other mediums that, that should ha somehow be integrated I together. And uh, which it's an old idea to integrate all of the art forms into one, uh, into one milieu. But uh, when I discovered video, I, I saw it as an ideal medium for myself. And David Byrne. Text and interviews are by Mark Miller. <laughs> 